for full wave rectifier, we uh, will cover we will cover uh, two type of full wave rectifiers. The first type is called center tap full wave rectifier. So center tap full wave rectifier using uh, use uses a special type of transformer called center tap transformer. So normally transformer at the secondary part or secondary terminal there there are two only two terminals but for the center type there is additional uh, terminal at the center of the coil so this is called and then this, the 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 connection is connected towards ground so this is what we call the center type center tap so we have two output terminals so we have two output terminals Okay. The difference in term of the output is um, at the secondary, the peak voltage or peak signal, peak output voltage will half of the V will be half of this V secondary after the transformer. So will be V secondary over two half amplitude. And then the second one is the phase difference is around is 180 degree. So it means that uh, for the voltage signal at the upper terminal it starts with the positive half cycle but the signal at the negative at the lower part it starts from the negative half cycle so this is the difference in terms of amplitude and in terms of phase difference okay this is the uh, the operation this is the operation of the uh, center tap full wave rectifier okay so let's consider uh, where the input voltage is at the positive cycle this positive cycle so here at the primary this is positive and this is negative so this is positive and this is negative. Okay, positive and this is negative. Okay, so what happened here since diode the anode of the diode one D one is connected to the positive, so this is diode one is in reverse forward bias, and then the diode two the anode is connected to the negative, so this is reverse bias. So the current direction will be from this ground towards the along the D1 diode 1 and and at the RL so this is this will uh, provide a output voltage at the RL okay, this is during the positive half cycle but during the negative half cycle so this negative and this is positive the D1 will be at the reverse bias so because negative at the anode uh, so there will be no current direction here but here but now the pos, uh, this one d2 the positive the anode of the d2 is uh, is is uh, is, uh, is a positive bias so this is a forward bias okay forward bias mean uh, the diode make a connection towards the RL so that's why there will be a current flow here and then there will be a output there will be the output at the negative cycle of the input so this is simple uh, operation of um, center tap fully effectifier okay so because this is a transformer you need to consider the turn ratio this is the turn ratio if the turn ratio is 1 to 1, so there will be no uh, increment or reduction in terms of the amplitude after the transformer. But here you need to times you need to divide by 2 because it's a center tap. Okay, so what happened is uh, so in this slide is going to show uh, in the previous uh, previous slide. Uh, we discuss on how the output will look like but now in this slide we want to uh, know how much the peak voltage how much the peak voltage peak voltage of the output 
for the peak voltage of the output if the primary in the peak voltage at the primary is vp prime so the voltage the peak voltage at secondary will be vp prime over 2 okay because this is center tap you need to divide by 2 so after that let's say we consider d1 is on so this is v peak primary over 2 so if you consider this d1 is the practical model if we consider practical model there will be a battery 0.7 so you need to minus this one you need to minus this one so now you have after you after the diode will be vp prime over 2 minus 0.7 so this will be the output the peak voltage for the output voltage output signal okay so this is the peak voltage for the output signal v peak prime over 2 minus 0.7 okay if the transformer has the diff uh, has a different turn number or turn value so for example the secondary turn number is higher than the primary the 2 and 1 1 to 2 ratio so what you can do is uh, you can uh, calculate the peak for the secondary is equal to n secondary over n primary times v p primary and then since this is a center tap you need to times 1 over 2 divide by 2 so what happen is this is equal to 2 over 1 times v peak primary times 1 over 2 so that's why you get here is v p primary so after that uh, so we consider the voltage drop at the volt at the diode 0.7 so that's why the v out is equal to vp prime minus 0.7 so this is the the peak voltage for the output signal okay previously you we discussed on how the the waveform of the full wave rectifier output output of full wave rectifier and then we discuss how we can calculate how we determine the output the peak voltage for the output waveform and then the last one we will analyze the parameter called peak inverse voltage okay peak inverse voltage is the value the maximum voltage value at the reverse bias at the reverse bias pn junction where the, the diode can withstand without damaging itself okay so let's consider this uh, circuit and where the input is at the po uh, positive cycle this is positive cycle so this is positive cycle this is positive negative this is positive and this is negative in this condition d1 is on because this is forward bias Okay, so this is uh, we can ignore the one because in order to calculate the peak inverse voltage or PIV, we need to consider the diode that in reverse bias. So in this case, this is D2. So D2. So PIV is actually the voltage between anode and cathode. Okay, so in this case, between let's say this point is V1. And this point is V2. So PIV is equal to V1 minus V2. Okay. V1 is equal to the output voltage. So output voltage we have uh, calculated that one. We have calculated the output voltage. Sorry. so we have calculated the output voltage the output voltage is v peak 
secondary over to minus 0.7 so this is the v1 okay for the v2 the output voltage as uh, the, the voltage at this point is what is v is minus v peak secondary over 2 so lastly you can get the piv is v peak secondary minus 0.7 so this is how you calculate the piv okay or oh, another expression is v peak secondary over 2 plus v out 